guided meditation and stress management program. Today we are going to cover briefly what exactly is pain or suffering and uh, how to remove it from our life. We define the word pain with an acronym P A I N. And you will discover that it applies to all kinds of the stress, suffering, and illnesses. This pain for or in life is related to all of our problems, suffering, stresses. Because of our life training by our parents, peers, society, culture, religion and belief, we are able to cope with some. Others are left that causes the pain in varying degree. And still others accumulate it deep inside and that manifest at a later stage in our life. But all are essentially responsible for pain in our life. We'll just take an example that what are the pains that we have in our personal life. Uh, you were just talking about anger, sleep, insomnia, chronic fatigue, mood swing, tension, stress, depression, anxiety, grief, maybe physical problem like uh, <coughs> asthma, diabetes, obesity, emotional disturbances, trauma, lack of concentration. You see that personal injury, all are related to your personal life. And then we have problems in the pain in our professional life, workload, uh, feeling undervalued, lack of job satisfaction, lack of control, overworking, bullying, and there are a lot of other problems. And when we move to the social life, we say that there is a family conflict, fear, pressure and relationship, divorce, parenting, teasing. And we have created problems in our spiritual life. <clears throat> we start comparing, oh, I'm not in peace. I did the practice of meditation, but there is no peace. There is no happiness. Oh, why don't you, how can you have visualized a blue sky in meditation and I'm not? You see the problems. We, these are the self-created problems in our spiritual life. But first we should understand that how do we experience this pain that includes all the stresses, suffering, physical and mental illnesses. So the first alphabet is P. And we define the P as a pressure of something from outside, from your environment in time, space, event, and people, or inside that causes you physical, mental, emotional, and social changes. And the A in pain refers to anxiousness. That pressure causes some change. We don't know what it is. So when we don't know and there is some pressure, there is some kind of anxiousness and we leave it, what happens? It continues. Our resources start depleting. And the third alphabet, I, I 
we define as intimidation, fear. So what happens when there is a pressure that continues, and the anxiousness continues, that causes fear. It may be any kind of fear. You all know it. And the N represents the negative attitude and expressions. So when pressure, anxiety, and the fear work together in our life, knowingly or unknowingly, it expresses itself in negative attitude, expression, actions in our personal, professional life, and then we are suffering from pain. Pain basically disturbs the equilibrium of life. We experience the loss of inner peace, calm, rest, happiness. And these leads to many illnesses. So now comes why guided meditation for removing pain and the stress in our life. Living in meditation transforms and transcends the pain and the stress from your life. Be very clear. There are two words, mindfulness and meditation. From the point of view of Eastern wisdom, they are both the same. The approach might be different, but essentially they are the same. So when you live in meditation or you do not live in meditation is the question. That is why we normally say that meditation is an effort. Mindfulness or meditation ah, is an effortless process. It is natural. Why? Because you live in meditation and that is the ultimate goal. So it simply means one minute, five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes meditation will not do. Do you ever say, I have been breathing for so many years, now let me give a break. I have been eating for so many years, let me give a break for, uh, for about a week. I have been sleeping for so many years, let me give a break. On the other hand, the stress and the pain never says, now I'm leaving you. The pain never asks you, okay, when I should leave you, my friend. You see the point? So how to start that guided meditation and stress management program? First, meditation is a journey. That is why I refer those examples. A journey of meditation should go along with living day-to-day -day life. As you live inside your home, you discover the same way you live in meditation. When you start living in meditation, the pain and the stress do not touch you. So that is the first point to understand. And the second point to understand Meditation is all about discovering your real self. That transcends and transforms the pain. You see the journey, you have a pain, the meditation, uh, the great masters, they say that start looking at the peace, work on your mind to move to the peace. And there comes the question of the mind. When the mind works on you or you work on the mind. When you take over the mind, you are free from stress and pain. When the mind takes over you, you're always in pain and the suffering. It may manifest today, it may manifest tomorrow or the day after. But as long as the mind rules you, that is why great master says mind is the 
cause of the stress and the pain. And mind is also the cause of peace and happiness. And the recent advances in the neuroscience suggest that when we change the mind, we change our brain. When we change our brain, it changes our attitude, our behavior, and we discover inner peace and happiness. And the third point is all about learning, regular practice, and wisdom. Learning. Learning from the traditional text. 6,000 years old tradition, we have 3,000 masters and more than thousands of the practices of meditation. And every text is basically a dialogue between a master and a disciple. So you always see that the science follows a manual, what it means. The science is a fundamental principles on which the entire technology is based. Similarly, if we do not learn those principles on which the applied technology of meditation is based, we will miss. And then we will start running one minute meditation, two minute, three minute, five minute, and we'll continue and get frustrated. So, first is the learning. We'll talk in detail in the series that how to learn those principles based on the traditional manuals or you can say the text. How to contemplate, to remove the doubts from the mind. How to inspire yourself to treat the path. And what are the practices that needs to be done. So what about the regular practice? I have made it clear. You cannot stop breathing. You cannot stop uh, eating the food. You cannot stop removing the waste product from your, lap, from your body. Similar, the journey continues until you start living in meditation. And the fourth step is the wisdom. What is wisdom? Wisdom is the knowledge in action that separates stress from the silence, pain from the peace, sorrow from the happiness, non-meditator from the meditator. The important thing uh, we all should understand that meditation is a conscious journey. A conscious journey means you are more important than your mind. You know what is happening at every step and stays in meditation. You ignore, you reject, you drop all the hallucinations, imaginations and the crazy things that are taught in meditation. So what is uh, our approach? Our approach is we provide uh, drugless lifestyle changing tools, natural, simple, easy, conscious evolving practices and transformative techniques to help you awaken to the peace, happiness, harmony, wisdom and truth. And again, our teachings is based on those traditional texts written by great masters. Eastern wisdom declares that we should discover the subjective reality deeper inside, and that helps us to improve the quality of life, minimize the impact of all illnesses, it achieves well being, and helps us to manage physical, mental, and emotional suffering. So what is this guided meditation and stress management program? The program is based on 
the ancient texts written about 2,000 years ago offer simple, easy steps and practices. You learn the secrets of meditation and mindfulness, breathing and other tools to self-help, manage pain, stress and anxiety. And every week we start with a new principles and a topic. And accordingly, we customize the practices also. So what happens? You start educating your brain, you train your mind, you regulate your breath for your inner peace, you work with the creativity and peace and wisdom, and there is a long list. You can join for the members of your family, even including kids. Simple philosophy. We start giving you a brief talk. And in that talk, we invoke certain principles based on the group. We explain it. Based on the principles, we explain you the steps of the meditation practice then you start doing the meditation practice after the practice we'll share the experiences and sharing that experiences will help you that you have started learning from your own experiences and we resolve the barriers that prevents you from going into meditation. We also inspire you. These are the helpers and the aids. And at the same time, we also talk about the myth and the facts about the meditation. Thank you very much.